All right, what's going on, everyone? Today, we're taking a closer look at all the new vehicles from the trailer of the bottom dollar bounties DLC. Rockstar has included a total of around like 10 vehicles that we know most likely are releasing on day one. So let's take a quick look at the police vehicles real quick. So for these, most of them, Rockstar already have them in the game. They're just pretty much having a re-release version of it with delivery on it or just basically upgraded version. So the first vehicle is going to be the Greenwood. This is actually a really nice looking cop car as well. And I think that Rockstar is going to be having some additions that they're going to put on it to make it a lot more better besides obviously a light bar and the other um customization options so that's gonna be nice we also have the impala as well so this one is you know pretty much a standard trace vehicle not gonna lie rocks are definitely did cool with this so i'm glad that they have this and then we also have the bravado dorado which honestly was a surprise to me i know this is a vehicle that I just released like maybe a few months ago but i didn't think rocks still make this into a police vehicle but obviously it does kind of fit with the time era they're going forward these aren't really newer police vehicles these are kind of like 70s kind of 80s police vehicles they're older so it definitely is a vehicle that fits and they most likely will be having some other vehicles too that they have for drift fed that are going to be included with these so just you know any classic vehicle that you know in the game or at least some of the classic vehicles most likely will also be police cars too so definitely got to look into that for sure and then after that of course for the other vehicles we know rockstar is going to be releasing first off we have this vehicle right here um honestly very cool it's based off the end 74 it's a nice looking vehicle um, probably going to be in a super class and probably going to be around at like 2.5 million dollars maybe more just you know it's a bit more on the futuristic side so just keep that in mind when it comes to rockstar the new bentley is going to be probably on the same kind of scale of something around maybe uh you know three mil you know maybe a little bit less than that 2.8 so it's another great vehicle i do like the customization for sure and the grill and of course this new benz is based off the w124 honestly i can't wait to buy this one this is such a classic good looking vehicle for sure i probably wouldn't put a spoiler on it like it has in the artwork but i definitely would you know have some great customization for sure this is one of the vehicles i'm buying on day one this one i don't really expect rockstar to do crazy with this so i'll probably say like around like 2 million maybe 1.5 and then we got this other vehicle, the Sturma One, which is definitely probably going to be like on the same level as maybe like um, the Visit Alone, kind of, you know, looks similar to that, as well as, you know, some other supercars. So, you know, maybe around like the same price, um, like three mil. And then we also, of course, have the Pepa Strella, which is going to be free for GTA Online players. That one is most likely going to be in the millions. Rockstar is not going to sell a vehicle that's like two million plus for GTA Plus owners, at least not most of the time, but it could be like around that price or less. Most likely going to be like 1.8 around that. Um, and then for the police vehicles that I talked about earlier, those most likely are going to be kind of expensive. So if we look at the police vehicles that we have now, they're about four or five million dollars. And that's, you know, before the trade price is going to be a little bit less. So, you know, maybe like around three mil for most of them. But regardless, though, Rockstar knows that these are going to be classic or are classic older vehicles. So Rockstar probably isn't going to be having it that expensive. So just know that it's probably going to be on the cheaper side. So like three million. But then after that, the trade price will make it around like two million. So um, definitely not that bad. And hopefully we also have, you know, the addition of other vehicles that Rockstar has as well. And as for some other stuff, customization probably is going to be really great, especially with the police cars. We've seen Rocks did really great with the other, you know, police cars. So I just expect them to continue, maybe even add more options. Police plates also most likely will be here. We know there's a few license plates that have been leaked and Rockstar could potentially be adding these to the game as well. And then Rockstar also will be having a lot of drift head vehicles. So I'm definitely going over that when that releases. And, you know, usually on day one, we have around maybe like seven vehicles. So most of the vehicles that Rockstar shows off are going to be on day one. And then there's going to be a few other ones that, you know, of course, are going to be released later. And in total for this DLC is probably going to be around like 15 to 20 vehicles with around like maybe two or three releasing per month. And Rockstar also is going to be having a lot of information for the upcoming, you know, seasons such as Halloween and also the rest of summer where they're going to have a lot more drift fest stuff. So we'll be having a full video on that. So if you aren't already subscribed and put a post notifications, you don't want to miss that. But that's really all for this video. I just wanted to kind of touch on the vehicles. And of course, I'll be having more customization for them as well. And I'll be streaming, you know, so definitely look forward to that coming up. But if you did enjoy, though, drop a like and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.